let's get into weapons manipulation, okay? As everyone knows, and as you can see right now, I only got one arm, right? So I need to make everything as, as efficient as possible when I'm running whatever weapon I have, whether it be my AR-15 or my Saga-12. Most of you have seen my tactical response fighting shotgun video. Uh, that course was a blast. I loved it. Uh, it was over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Can't say anything bad about tactical response. Uh, the cadre, the instructors, they're they're very professional, but they're very approachable. First off, I knew I couldn't go there with a pump action shotgun. Uh, after I lost my arm, I actually traded my Mossberg 500 at a gun show for this Saga 12. Now this Saga 12 with the hunting stock on it. It didn't have the pistol grip, wasn't converted. I did all that myself. Uh, it's very easy to do that with just one hand. So. Don't, don't waste your money and buy one that's already converted for twice as much. Just buy a regular imported Saga 12 and convert yourself. It's too, it's too easy. I only brought three of my five round magazines because I forgot this little drop leg mag pouch that I'll show you here in a little bit. But when I'm shooting, I'm doing whatever in class, in out at the range, or what have you, uh, I, run, I run a single point sling. I tried to use, I tried to run uh, Troy Industries two point sling, and that didn't work very well. The strap of the sling came right across my face and kind of obscured my vision. So I found that a single point sling works best for me. The first one I present my firearm, uh, I'm going to swing it up, and I'm a bigger guy, and I, I'm, I'm not that strong, but I'm pretty strong. But I can't hold the Saga 12 up with just my arm for that long period. Uh, so what I do is I also use my cheek, kind of like a little fulcrum action, right? Bring it up, put my cheek on the cheek rest. That gives me perfect alignment for the sights. So I'm pushing up with my hand and I'm pushing down with my cheek to keep it level. Now, as you can see, I got the plastic muzzle brake on there. As of the time of this video, I haven't shot the plastic muzzle brake yet. But that's how I hold the, the shotgun up. It's pretty easy. Bang, bang, click, out of ammo. Got to reload. Show it to you from the other side. Okay, just like that. Now the AK safety is a lot different than the AR-15. The AR-15 is, is, you know, is a lot, it's a lot more ergonomic than the AK-47, especially with one hand. I chose to get the the Krebs safety here. It's made for an unmodified Psych 12, so that you can manipulate the safety with your trigger finger while still having that sporter, that sporter hunting stock on there. With the pistol, pistol grip, the safety starts to look like a little thumb safety. Down safe, up fire. It's kind of like the opposite of what you would think. you think that would be fire, then that's safe. But once you get used to it, it's okay. The weapon's on safe, bring it up, it's ready to fire, just like that. Too easy. drop leg trigger pouch carrier. Now the tactical response fighting shotgun, you guys saw me put my muzzle down, flip out that empty mag, and if I, if I would have had this, it would have been very easy to come over, get your next mag, rack it, and go. Next round. Go. Now another way I could reload is putting it between my legs, okay? And going from there. If you don't want to put your muzzle into the ground, then you can do Another way I manipulate my Saga 12 is I had my bolt sent off to a polystyrene custom fabrication. I had him polish up my bolt and add a left hand charging handle. Right there. Uh, and what that helps me do is say I have a loaded magazine or a magazine loaded. Well, my bolt's locked to the rear. All I have to do is reach back, pull slightly, and let go. 
get my safety off and go. I'd like to give a shout out to American Bass Apparel. They sent me a couple t-shirts to feature in my videos. Uh, this one is my favorite of the two they sent me. I'll put some pictures of the shirts that they offer. I'll put a link down in the description to their site their, and their Facebook fan page. Uh, stop by, give them a like, check out their t-shirts. If you like what they have to offer, give them a like, buy a t-shirt. Small little business, veteran owned. That'd be a better way to support the troops than to put a little yellow ribbon bumper sticker on the back of your car, right? Hey.